Hello YouTube, my name is Mackenzie and today we are featuring a very unique Camaro, um, quite a rare one. This is a 67 Sport Coupe. This is paint you probably aren't too familiar with and if you are you know how rare it is. This is Tahoe Turquoise. Um, there is, I believe it's less than double digit percentage wise as far as how many of these Camaros were actually done in this color. Um, this car has been fully restored, it's all original metal. All numbers matching, and we're going to tell you all about it just here in a few. Thanks for tuning in, guys. This car is absolutely gorgeous. It's incredibly, incredibly well done. Um, everything is restored to a high level. Um, all the chrome, all the beauty work, all the bright work, the lenses. It even has date coated original glass. This is a 10 out of 10 Camaro. The restoration work was done about 20 years ago, but I, you know, I could tell you it was finished yesterday. It looks that, that impressive. Um, one thing too you don't see on a lot of these cars is this little feature piece right here. It almost looks like an AC compressor or a little supercharger. That's actually a vacuum pump. We have the whole emission system on here because this one was sold new at Bob Coyle Chevrolet in San Jose, California back in 67. And the plot thickens, this gets even more wild and crazy. We have, you know, all the original paperwork to go with the car. We have every service record dating back to 67 still with the car. We have the original check for the down payment on this car. It is absolutely nuts. One with this much lineage, this much everything to go with it. Mind boggling. Can't find another. Really, really perfect. You'll notice those 14 by 7 rally wheels with the Firestone wide oval red lines. They look very good on this turquoise color. It's kind of a blue green. Um, depends how the sun hits it, but it's incredibly straight, incredibly bright, and very, very flat looking all around. The vinyl top, they did a knockout job. All the bright work around that is the original stuff again, and it's in very, very good shape. This glass, I can't find a scratch in it, and again, all original. Um, the rear tail panel, the bumper, and this deck lid, all is aligned very nice, and just like that, pops right up. We've got a nice even coat of the uh, aqua splatter liner in here, and a nice little mat, a full-size spare, no little can of air like they give in these new cars. Got a full size lug wrench, lug wrench and everything. Um, all the original stickers and all that all over the place. The lenses are bright. And the fuel cap in here is a locking one as well. And I'll show you guys how this closes up. Tight like a glove. Now down the passenger side here, got a couple bits from the trees hitting us, but very straight. Everything lines up tight. The doors fit very well. 327 badge is looking sharp. These red line tires and this color is, is really the cake for me. Uh, this is a simpler time. Uh, very, very basic stuff happening under the hood. But it's cool. It feels good. I got to drive this briefly uh, a moment ago, and first impressions, it's quite fun to drive. This is a 327 with 210 horsepower, has the original motor, the original Muncie 4 speed, it's got a nice Hurst shifter, and we're going to get you more familiar with that interior here in just a moment. We're sitting inside of this car here, we're in the black standard interior, and everything seriously is in like new condition. Um, we have our gauge pack down low. We have a cluster up in front of us with the bright lenses. I like how they come to a, a little cone here. 
I don't know if you can even tell on the camera. Um, everything works very smooth. You can probably barely even hear it, but this car is running right now. This 327, one, sounds really good for a little 327. It runs like a Swiss clock um, and everything is working. The Hurst shifter here, I like that black knob. It looks very good and you will see it is working very well with the clutch and this 327. Stops really well. The power steering is working excellent. The horn is working good. And one thing cool, which I personally haven't seen before, this gentleman, the previous owner, took his original AM radio and converted it to also play FM, which is awesome. It looks totally original. Just slightly modified for our benefit here. It makes the ride that much more enjoyable. Um, we're in fourth gear now. This thing is very, very smooth and very well sorted. It's taking all the turns nicely. It's accelerating strong. And I'm kind of blown away by this 327. I don't know, uh, I feel like usually the emission stuff dogs them down. This one's very, very happy. Hey guys, thank you for checking this thing out. It is a 10, it's absolutely perfect. The drive is just as nice as it looks and the underside, which we're gonna show you a couple shots of too, is perfect. Um, restored a little while ago, but it looks great. And to check out all these pieces of documentation we have with it. All right, to show you some of these docs here, we've got them laid out and framed up nicely. These are actually copies, just to display what we got. Um, pictures of a couple of the tags, the original order and purchase sheets, even the a copy of that check for the down payment, which is wild. And then over into this binder, we have a lot, a lot of old school papers here, um, registrations, and then one of the craziest things is that Bob Coyle Chevrolet is all of these service records. I won't bore you here with too much of them, but these are plentiful and my binders falling apart on me because I got so many old school ROs. Yes, these are pen on paper detailed ROs. Literally every service record and all done. Uh, you guessed it, Bob Coyle Chevrolet. This is in San Jose, California in the 60s. This is pretty darn high tech looking. Um, we were all looking at this picture thinking, wow, this actually looks like a new dealership. And lastly, my name is Mackenzie. Feel free to check out some of our videos. If you like this car, you'll probably like some of the other stuff we have. And we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Peace out from LaFontaine Classics.